So the other day I noticed this short video of John Mayer playing the famous riff for this song called Neon, which became a sort of a meme in the guitar world community because of its difficulty. But here's what John has to say about it. I'm going to show you a tip on how to play my song Neon. Now it's a difficult song, but like all songs on the guitar, they're easier than they sound. So he says the riff is easier than it sounds, and I can honestly say that it's really true. I love short videos from guitar heroes like that. Some people make these complicated 15 minute lessons with precise fingerings and tablature and here's the song's writer teaches it in just 47 seconds. I love that. And this is how I learned this riff. I'll try to be as fast as John though I probably already exceeded the one minute mark. Side note, I'm not a Jan John Mayer expert. This is the only riff of his I ever played. I don't listen to his music much, but I admire the man and I really love this riff, it's so cool. Anyway, so the first thing I noticed was the bass pattern, which is all played with both thumbs, left and right hands. That's unusual and I thought, let's start with learning the bass pattern and it goes like this. Notice open bass notes slipping through from time to time. Nothing too hard here, right? Next I noticed that I could use this move, which is basically a false downstroke. followed by a right hand snare drum effect. The false downstroke trick a rhythm guitar players used when playing slow ballads for instance. So let's play the bass note pattern now with all the false downstrokes and snare drum hits, something like this. Next I noticed that I could use my right hand thumb as a sort of a pick sometimes. And it's also a usual and simple trick when you don't want when you want to add the, this percussive percussive feeling to the note. But don't have a pick, this is the best option left. False plectrum. Which is almost the same thing as a false downstroke anyway. That's not what he's actually playing, but it helped me to understand the rhythm better and faster. Later in the video, John is talking about an unbreakable right hand pattern, meaning that the index finger is constantly doing this. And the secret lies in the right hand. It's the thumb and it's the index finger. And they're sort of working like a drum set. This is another simple piece of the puzzle. Simple 16th notes alternate picking with on one finger. So the next thing I try to do is to play it all together. 
using only two fingers. Now, at this point, everything was extremely easy. One string bass line. Simple snare drum pattern. Simple 16th note speaking. What John meant by simple is that this riff was built with simple bricks. But of course, putting it all together is sort of like learning a piano piece. Two hands need to learn completely different things. Oh, and by the way, now I'll play this thing really fast and check this out, how it already sounds like this famous riff. What's next? Next goes the hardest part of adding actual notes, which is the simplest and the hardest part of the whole learning process. Simple because the actual chords are very prominent. It's just one acoustic guitar anyway, so... Transcribing the course is relatively easy to do. I'd say... If you can't hear the notes of the chords, maybe learning a song like this is getting a bit ahead of yourself, in my opinion. So, here are my thoughts on finishing learning the neon riff. I was talking about those false downstrokes. This things, thing helps a lot in getting it all together. For instance, the first beat goes like... Because the riff is so voice-like, you can sing the riff. I could, I could sing it if I had a lower voice, but anyway. Because you can sing the riff, you can use it as a tool to learn how to play. I mean, this note goes after which beat. The first melody note goes before the snare. The second note goes before the second bass. Bit by bit, step by step, carefully listen to the melody and compare it to the rhythm pattern. This is very hard to do, but absolutely doable. Even with my 15 years, amateur, but playing still, it took me the whole hour to learn this thing, so don't expect, expect, it, expect it to happen instantly. The last thing is to add the connecting notes that connect all the parts together, like here.
ultimately John Mayer is absolutely right. The riff sounds way harder than it really is. It consists of many simple tricks and things you can learn and practice separately and then throw it all together in a mix. I never thought that I'd sit down to learn this song, but I love these short lessons, they're amazing. It's like Mark Knopfler discussing the Money for Nothing riff for less than a minute. They do all they can to inspire people, not to teach people, but to inspire people. And as you can see, they're extremely successful at that. Thank you for watching and hi to all the John Mayer fans out there. I hope I haven't ruined the song for you because that's the first John Mayer song that I ever learned. Thanks to his brilliant TikTok guitar tip. Bye.